Okay. So going to the next question. So here we're asked, let's take a look at this. Electromagnetic waves ranking. So, so we're trying to rank electromagnetic waves from fastest to slowest rank these electromagnetic waves on the basis of their speed in a vacuum. And they're giving us yellow light, green light, X-ray, FM radio, AM radio, infrared light. So it would be nice to draw the electromagnetic wave spectrum. But for question A, one thing to note that for all electromagnetic waves, the speed will be this just the speed of light because it's in a vacuum. So it'll just be three times 10 to the, nine, 10 to the eight meters per second. And this is just C, which represents the speed of light. For B, however, um, we'll draw the electromagnetic wave spectrum because we're ranking them based on wavelength. And then C, we rank them based on frequency. So we have to do wavelength and part B and frequency. So let's just draw a simple diagram. So we know the visible spectrum will be somewhere in the middle. In the middle. So this is the visible. And we have UV on the left, infrared the right, and then we have, I'm just trying to separate these out into lines just to separate them out. We have radio waves, we have FM, and then we have AM. And then on the left side over here, we have X-ray, and we have gamma. So gamma is this symbol. So on the right side, we'd have the highest wavelength. On the left side, we'd have the lowest wavelength. On the right side, we'd have the lowest frequency. On the left side, we'd have the highest frequency. So you can see that the correlation is inverse, mainly due to the equation as follows. C is always constant, as we indicate in A. Therefore, F and, and uh, lambda will be, or the wavelength, so the frequency and the wavelength will be inversely proportional to one another. So on the right side, just to give you a rough number, so on the right side, the wavelength will be around 10 to the 8. On the left side, the wavelength will be 10 to the 16. So you can see that there's a range of values. We also have some color um, for the light. So the colors are in the visible spectrum, so I'll just expand this out. The mnemonic to use to remember the order of the colors is Roy G Biv, but backwards. So Roy G Biv backwards. If you're going from smallest wavelength on the left side and highest wavelength on the right side. So R for red, O for orange, Y for yellow, G for green, B for blue, B for violet. So let's just rank these. Um, so we have yellow light, green light, X-ray, FM. So from longest to shortest. So longest wavelength is on the right side. So we can say the AM radio will be the longest. Then it's FM radio. Then we have infrared light. And then we have yellow or green. So we have yellow first, then green. I'll use a different color. So we said AM, FM, infrared, yellow, green. And then X-ray is the last one. And then we have X-ray. So that's the order that it goes. And then for frequency, it would just be opposite. So we start with X-ray, then green, yellow, infrared, FM, then AM. So let's look at the solution. So the correct solution presented by the student um, for A, and then for B, so from longest to shortest, AM first, we follow the same format, and then frequency is just the inverse, largest to smallest. So the solution is correct. Excellent work.